How to play card game Ultima Hero Basic Rules At the beginning of the game, the player will be given the role of either a cat or a dog. During the game, players will play cards from their hand on the table to activate the card's effects. These effects can make someone's life a little harder, or can help the active player win. The main goal of the game is to become the Ultima Hero and play the fourth and final hero card of the race, cats or dogs, to which he belongs. In the standard game we have 4 cat heroes, 4 dog heroes, 3 anti-heroes, 8 funny standard cards, and 37 action cards. Each card has a card type classification which can be dog, cat, or both dog and cat. A description of how to use them. In the basic rules, the card type does not matter. The player can play any card type. In the advanced rules, players must only play with the type of card which the first player starts playing in a round. Ultima Hero Card Game has three gameplay possibilities. Single play, everyone against everyone, in which players compete against each other to win and become the Ultima Hero. Semi-cooperative, in which single dog players can cooperate to play against cats, or vice versa. However, the winner will be only one single player. There's also team play, in which a dog team plays against a cat team. If one member of a team plays Ultima Hero, the entire team wins. Gameplay Walkthrough Player 1 plays the action card Hypnotic, play a random card from a chosen player's hand, give him one of your cards, and take one card from the deck. Player 1 chooses Player 3 and plays his random card. It is the action card Woo Dog. A chosen player will skip a turn. Player 1 decides that Player 2 will skip their turn. Then, Player 1 gives any card from his hand to Player 3. In this case, the card is Swapperino, and Player 1 takes one card from the deck, as it says on the action card. After this, Player 1 takes one more card from the deck as his turn ends. Player 2 skips his turn in the round. Next is Player 3. He chooses to play Dog Hero McDoggle, and takes one card from the deck after playing his turn. This is the first Dog Hero played, and it stays on the table. Next is Player 4. He plays the action card Wingo. Find any hero from the deck and place it in your hand, and do not take a card after taking this card from the deck. Shuffle the deck. He found Cat Hero Droko and shuffled the deck because he saw the cards in the deck. After player 4 finishes, they do not take one card from the deck after he plays his turn in a round because that's what action card Wingo says to do. Player 1 is next. He chooses to play the Dog Hero Books and takes one card from the deck after playing his turn. This is the second dog hero played and stays on the table. Player 2 is now active because the round has finished and he can play his turn. Then, Player 2 plays his turn. He plays the action card Double, take two cards from the deck instead of one at the end of your turn. Player 2 takes two cards from the deck after taking his turn. Now, Player 2 has six cards instead of five, which is the number everyone else has. Next up is Player 3. He plays the action card Catzilla. The chosen player will skip their turn. So he chooses player 4 to skip his turn in the round. But player 4 has the action card Catus. Play any time as a reaction to any card played on you. Negate any effect played on you for one round. Then take one card from the deck. So player 4 negated the action card Catzilla using the Catus card and takes one card from the deck. Player 3 also takes a card. Player 4 is next. He chooses to play Cat Hero Droko and takes one card from the deck after playing his turn. This is the first Cat Hero played and it stays on the table. Player 1 now has his turn, starting the next round. He chooses to play Action Card Gonster. Take one random card from a chosen player's hand. He pulls out one card, Dogus, from Player 2's hand and places it in his hand. Then he takes one more card from the deck after finishing his turn. Now Player 1 has six cards. Player 2 is next, and so on. These battles continue throughout the game. Someone attacks, negates action cards, or just plays his turn, waiting to find a hero in the deck. A few rounds later, almost at the end of the game, the deck is finished, and each player has only a few cards in his hand. Almost all the heroes have been played, but no one has won yet. Now, Player 4 has his turn. 
it looks like player one will win the game and will place the ultimate hero, but player four has not played yet and he has anti-hero. So for his turn, player four plays the action card anti-hero. Take any hero from the table and shuffle it back into the deck. He takes dog hero books and places it back in the deck. As there are no cards left in the deck, he places the hero card in the deck and then takes it back from the deck because he needs to take a card after finishing his turn. So, player one next plays the hero card Sword Dog, but he does not win because there are only three dog heroes on the table. On the next play, player two places Cat Hero Tiger and wins the game. This is because it is the final cat hero that he lays on the table and player two belongs to the cat race. The Ultimate Hero card game turned out to be unpredictable, emotional, and funny at the same time. Thank you for watching.